playing in SoCal this weekend. So as everybody knows, 2020 has been a pretty crazy year. Um, and usually we take tours and everything's fine, but I've never seen the airport like this. It's like nobody. So I'm currently playing trumpet and running tracks for Genesis Campos. Um, for this trip, it's just me and her going. So I miss this kind of. Feels kind of weird with nobody here. Oh, he's working. Thank you. All right, so we're finally at the hotel. Uh, we're in a city called Victorville, California. Um, so this weekend, we came to play at this church with Genesis. And like I said, I'm running tracks and playing trumpet. I want to show you guys a little bit how I'm running tracks. Um, we do it a little differently than most conventional churches, um, where we have a little more control on what we're doing um, with with how spontaneous we are. And I'm going to share with you guys what we do and how we do it. So yeah. So here we have Ableton. As you can see, we have every song that we play for her right now um, in different color-coded areas, right? And we have this called the Ableton Push. The Ableton Push controls um, the actual program. So the good thing about this is that you can do a lot of things. For example, um, let's say we have the tracks here. As you can see, it's blue here because it's blue on the screen. This first song, for example, Emi Aquí. Right, you have Emi Aquí, and you see that you see that red square. I don't know if you can see it well. But it's it's moving. Well, that is in accordance to this. Right. So every time we switch songs, all I have to do is press this button, and it switches to the next song, Gran Rey. Right. For example, let me give you guys a quick example. For example, let's say we're starting off Emi Aquí. Ready? Controlling it here, as you can see, there's a click. And let's say she wants to go, um, usually after the intro, the verse would go, but let's say she wants to go to the chorus, right? So we just press this button. So we could be a little more spontaneous with that. Let's give, let me give you guys another example. Let's say from here she wants to go to a song called Soy Tuyo, right? Usually that's how it goes. Usually, Emi Aquí and then Soy Tuyo, right? So we have Soy Tuyo, the intro there. I have it set up here already, right? And then we go the first one, ready? One, two, three. Na, na, na. We can be a little more spontaneous when it comes to to choosing music and making sure everything is under control as she sings basically whatever she wants. Another good thing is I mentioned earlier that we we can minister a little easier to the to the to the to the church because I have something set up here called silence. So for example, let's say she's singing this one. Right? Gran Rey. Let's say right after this, she wants to tell people, it's as bueno, it's as grande. All I hit is silence right on top, and you have the click just running. 
Eh, for example, she can say, hermanos, el Señor es grande, el Señor es fuerte. Y vamos a sal, alabar al Señor con todo nuestro sed. ¿Cuántos puedes dar un grito de júbilo? And whenever she, she, she can take as long as she wants. Whenever she's ready, I could just hit a button and go wherever she wants to go. Let's say from here, she wants to go after that huge menstruación. She wants to go to a different song that's a little more uh, exciting. Right? So let's say she just tells me, oh, mira, we're going to go to uh, O Señor en Tu Presencia, de coro. Then I just look for O Señor en Tu Presencia. Right? And she's like, el Señor es grande, el Señor es fuerte. She usually counts down. One, two, one, two, three. Eh. That's the beauty of having uh, this type of setup because you can re really spontaneous on what you do. Another really cool thing we use this for is for running pads. When it's time for the slow songs, um, we don't usually use click just because there's always something different going on, whether it's um, ministering, ministering people or singing different songs or solos. It, it, it's just so, so, so much more that goes into it. So usually we don't use click. Um, so what I do in this situation, just, to, just because I have the tool right in front of me, is I have a few MIDI channels that are running. I have an Omnisphere patch. Mm, I have two of them, and then I have two native patches, or Contact 13. So I have the first pad is Hybrid Keys, right? And the cool thing about this is that about the Ableton Push, not only can we control what's going on, on the computer, but we can actually use this as a sort of piano. So what I do is whenever there's the slow songs, you go, for example, let's go pad three. I really like this one. So I click something here called note and it gives me all these like crazy colors, right? So the cool thing about this is that I can choose scale and see what scale I want. For example, there's major, minor, Dorian, Mixolydian. Um, most of the time it's just major and then we just go to D, right? So you can just play either a drone or actually follow along with pads. Right, so that's another cool thing we could do here. So you can see this playing. Something a little more exciting. Usually I would have a pedal just to control the sustain so it won't cut off so hard. So that's basically just a rough overview on what it is. Um, and so right now I'm just getting, making sure everything's getting ready because we're playing tonight uh, at a church. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. What's up, Ivan? Oh, what's up? <laughs> How long have you been playing? Um, four years, but, but I started here in three years. What kind of mouthpiece you got? Mm, a 3C. You like it? Not much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Day three, final day in Victorville. It's been a blessing. Yesterday we had an opportunity to minister to the youth. Um, we did a, a, a worship workshop. It was pretty amazing. Uh, right now we're just gonna play one last service and head over back to the Bay Area. So with sequences, it's just a tool to make you sound a little bit better. Um, since you are playing with click, it makes your band a little tighter and that helps you in the future with like recording albums and certain stuff like that. So just make sure if you guys are gonna wanna use sequences, start off with a little loop. 
um, start off with pads, start off with something simple so all your band could follow in general and just little by little start recording things here and there. Uh, with the technology right now, it's really easy to record. So, yeah. <laughs> Finally going home. Here hey. with Jen Meister, Miss Campos. How was it? It was amazing. Where were we? We were in Victorville, LA. Victorville, LA. Yeah. Victorville, California. Here's blessing. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. God bless. ¿Qué siento de resto? Home. This is Andy. Cousin Andy. <laughs> to Lily? Hi. That's cool. 